Hi, I'm Dr. David Hellman, Medical Director and Owner of Aspen Gray Optimal Health and Wellness Clinic, Board Certified in Emergency Medicine and Board Certified in Anti-Aging Regenerative Medicine. And as a physician, I feel it's my duty to bring you factual, accurate, science-based information that you can use to help in these times of coronavirus epidemic. I also feel compelled to bring you some scientific, very robust information that I've recently discovered that you may not hear on mainstream media. Uh, what I found is that the virus, the coronavirus, like many other viruses, hijacks an enzyme in your cell called PLA2, phospholipase A2. This enzyme is used by your cells to help replicate, help reproduce, and help grow the cell. But the virus hijacks the cell and makes massive amounts of it, and it uses it to replicate inside the cell and spread. Well, they've discovered that PLA2 inhibitors can reduce this viral application up to 1,000%, which is a game changer. It may change how you feel with this virus. It may change how this virus affects you. It, it could mean the difference between you coming to see me in the ER and being intubated on a ventilator or staying at home with mild symptoms. This PLA2 inhibitor is sold over the counter as a nutraceutical. Uh, in Europe, it is a pharmaceutical drug, but in the United States, we can get it as a nutraceutical. It's used as a brain enhancer to increase focus and to increase neurotransmitters in your brain because it crosses blood-brain barrier very easily. But the, the interesting thing about this new research is shows as a PLA2 inhibitor, it can have a great impact maybe on the coronavirus. It's called citicoline or CDP choline. I take it, I started taking it about a week ago. I start out at 500 milligrams a day and I'm gonna increase it to 1,000 milligrams a day. And I, I urge my he fellow healthcare workers on the front line to do 1,000 milligrams a day for extra resistance. But if you have no exposure, 500 milligrams may be the effective dose. It's very safe. It's been studied up to 100,000 milligrams a day with a very good track record. Uh, you can take it up to 2,000 milligrams a day if you have some symptoms such as fever or, or cough or chills or body aches, some symptoms that may suggest that you've been infected. Some people may have GI upset with this and some diarrhea, but that's a very few percentage of people. I think the ro this has robust, very strong evidence, very strong uh, science behind it. So I urge you to look into your own research. I'm going to keep it simple. Look into your own research. Do your own research. CDP choline. It could be a game changer in your health. I'm Dr. David Hellman. Thank you for watching.